When it comes to staying motivated in working on your creative business, instead of just doing the awesome, fun client work, how do you do that? How do you stay motivated and excited and engaged with working on your business and doing a lot of those tasks that maybe aren't as creative or aren't as interesting in your business? Before I get started, let me introduce myself. I am Aura McKay. I am the founder of Business of Creativity, and we offer a live online training for creative freelancers to help you master the business aspects. Exactly exactly those aspects that we're talking about in today's Coaching for Creatives. Those kinds of day-to-day -day tasks that don't really seem that exciting or that motivating. For me, full disclosure, writing emails to my email list is just that one thing that I really want to communicate. I want to make those connections. I want to have those meaningful relationships and just writing those emails seems to be such a struggle for me. And I have to work really hard to muster up the motivation to be able to do that. So while you're watching, I'd love to hear from you what is it that you do to stay motivated? For many photographers, videographers, writers, designers, actors, if we're not actually engaged in practicing our skills or practicing our craft, we could be looking at our calendars or sitting at our desks in front of our computers, staring at the walls, wondering, what am I going to do? It doesn't feel exciting. It doesn't feel fun and fulfilling. A lot of the reason why many of us became creative freelancers in the first place was so that we could do what we love for a living, so that we could have an experience on a daily basis of tapping into our creativity and our self-expression and our skills and our talents and the things that really do fulfill us. But that's only a very small percentage of what many of us are doing on any given month or any given day in our creative businesses. A large portion of what we're doing is time management or operations or admin or finances or doing the marketing and sales that often feels uncomfortable for us. And recently, marketing and selling has this like whole extra layer of challenge to it in that we're marketing and selling into an uncertain economy, into a place where we don't know whether or not we're even going to be able to fulfill on those contracts in some cases. Many photographers across Canada are being banned or prevented from doing any kind of work, you know, working with clients in any capacity. And so where do they get the motivation to continue to show up in social media, to continue to show up in those networking meetings, to continue to be hopeful and optimistic about their future. And that's the key, folks. Without hope or optimism or a feeling of possibility even, it can be almost impossible to get excited and to get the energy and motivation to do something that is hopeless or there's no possibility of it or there's just surrounded by pessimism. And right now we have a lot of that going on where we have so much uncertainty that that leads to negative thinking or pessimistic thinking. And some would say even realistic thinking. What can you do to stay motivated, to keep taking action, to do those tasks like for me, writing my emails to my email list, what can we really do to stay motivated? I have some ideas about that, but I would love to hear from you. What do you use to keep yourself connected to the passion that you have for your business? What is going to cause you to get out of bed in the morning when you really don't feel like it and maybe you don't have any client work on the books for that day? So for many of us, what causes us to get out of bed is our vision statement or the clarity about why this matters to us, why building this business and serving these clients and doing this kind of work 
why does it really matter to you? For some people, when they hear the word why, it doesn't resonate with them or allow them to access the same way, maybe the question, what? So let me ask this another way. What is it about your dream for your business, your lifestyle, your future? What is it that's going to matter to you enough to motivate you to get out of bed and to take the actions you need to take in order to move forward towards that dream? What is going to matter to you enough? A lot of people um, are able to understand this if I use a weight loss metaphor because the motivation to consistently take the actions you need to take to be successful at weight loss is huge. It's extraordinary. And sometimes that motivation really does need to be connected to something bigger that matters to you in order for you to make the short term, slightly uncomfortable sacrifice or choice in order to have the long term outcome. What's happened for many of us is that whatever we had vision for our long-term outcome for our businesses has been derailed by the change in the economy, by the change in how people are doing business. Whatever we thought we were working towards has taken a left turn. We heard the word pivot last year to the point at which we never want to hear the word pivot again. <clears throat> But for many of us, that's what's happened. If this has happened for you, what might be missing for you is the clarity on what matters to you now or the clarity on what is that vision that I can feel optimistic about, that I can feel hopeful about, that I can have a sense of possibility around now that the world has changed. If that is you, Sometimes it's really difficult to figure that out on your own. Please, I implore you, get it figured out because having that clarity is going to get you out of bed. It's going to help you prioritize your day. It's going to give you a sense of purpose and, and intention in the world. It's going to give your life on a day-to-day -day basis more meaning, which will in turn give you more motivation. And when you have motivation, you will take the action, and when you take the action, you will get the result. So when we start from a place of clarity, we can reach the end game of the result and the outcome that we want for ourselves and our business. How can I help you get clarity about what matters to you now, what's possible for a vision for your creative business, and what that outcome might look like for you so that you can reconnect to motivation and optimism and hope in your business? Let's have a phone call together. Please book a call with me. I will put a link in the comments and descriptions. But if you go to businessofcreativity.ca, you will see talk to an advisor, click that button, book a call with me, and let's have a conversation about how you can get some clarity and motivation in your creative business. I see that we still have a bunch of people that are on here live. So Mary Jensen uh, says, I've gotten motivation from seminars, from joining groups of similar creatives. Yeah, absolutely. Mary, this is one of the, the biggest benefits that I see my members of the Business Accelerator Mastermind group is the fact that they're meeting with other people consistently and so when they come to a meeting and they're not really feeling inspired or motivated about their business, somehow by the end of the meeting, even just listening to other people who are at, in similar places or facing similar challenges can completely shift how the members feel about themselves. So I'm so grateful to hear that you have found a, a group of similar creators and talking about what you're creating and doing. And I think for you, you're actually meeting with people just about the creativity, like not even about the business, really reconnecting to the creation part. For many of you that are listening today, it may be that you've been focusing too much 
on the business aspect of your creative business and not enough on the creativity aspect of your creative business. What can you do to reconnect to creativity? What can you get do to get yourself inspired? One of the things that I do to get myself inspired is I will look at something completely different outside of my own creative field. I'll look at somebody who does making with their hands instead of creating a service. I might walk down a different street. I might look at a garden or a gallery. I might look at somebody else's creative process to get inspired around my own creativity. One of the biggest things that has been a gift around creativity is I have a a creativity journal, which is essentially just a blank page journal, but the, the gift in it is the permission to play. I am not um, an illustrator or a, a maker per se. But this tool gives me permission to play. This creativity journal, I don't have to create anything to share with anybody. In fact, its whole intention is for me to make mistakes and to try things and to fail at creativity. And having that permission to play and to fail and to not have to take it so seriously reconnects me to ideas, innovation, and inspiration and creativity. Thank you for that, Mary, for reminding us that we can reconnect to our motivation for our creative business by reconnecting to our passion for creative expression. Thank you for that. Sue Sparlin offers tracking measurements, stats, being able to create measurements so you have a reality check so that you actually know wait, I am making progress. One of the things that was coming up for me when I was in my photography business, and I didn't have that kind of clarity of a vision or a connection to what really mattered to me, was that I was going through my days and I had clients and I was servicing clients and I was invoicing them and editing the images. And at a certain point, I lost connection with the gratitude for doing what I love to do. And I lost connection with the gratitude of being able to have clients to serve in the first place. All I could see was this grind of just doing and doing and not really feeling like I was making any progress. So one of the things that can totally suck out your motivation is if you don't feel like the work that you're doing is making any kind of a difference. If it feels like you get up, you post on social media, you network, you reach out, you're emailing, you're doing all the the things, but it doesn't feel like you're making any progress. Sometimes our feelings aren't actually based on reality or facts. And in fact, in the absence of information, we will make things up in the worst possible way. When you look at tracking your progress by looking at the stats and by measuring how many reach outs did you do? How many posts did you do? What was the result of that? And at least measuring your actions even if you're not being able to see any results on those actions, still recognizing and acknowledging yourself and having a sense of being able to mark the progress and the work that you are doing so it doesn't end up feeling like so much of a grind. Getting yourself present to, hey, you are making progress. This is working, it is worth keeping on going. That's another great way to connect to your motivation. All right, gang. Thank you so much for joining me live today. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Coaching for Creatives. If you are watching this on my YouTube channel, please do subscribe because we are putting up new content every week. So be sure to um, check us out there and post your comments. I love hearing the impact of what we've shared in these sessions with you. Thank you. I am Aura McKay, founder of Business of Creativity, and I look forward to seeing you here again next week.